I'm very excited to introduce Simon Mannering. Welcome, Simon. We first, how brands and consumers use social media to build a better world. Let's dive in. For those of you I haven't met, I'm the CEO and founder of a company called WeFirst. We're a strategic consultancy that builds brands that exceed the expectations of business, people, and the planet. So we do the strategy work, the culture building work, and the impact storytelling for global enterprises, sustainability leaders, and really, really exciting startups. And we've been doing that for 13 years. And the core thesis is we need as many people as possible to work together quickly to the greatest collective benefit, which is why it's called WeFirst. Leadership is more important than ever, but also that leadership has never been in need of more reimagination, more reinvention, more re-engineering. And I want to explain why. This is a snapshot of what all of our lives have been like over the last two years. Multiple crises, from COVID to the climate crisis, to supply chain, you know, to BLM and the protests around the world, and now Ukraine. And what's interesting about all of this is that there was concurrent. I don't think any of us have ever had any leadership experience where you had so, so many seismic challenges all at once. And here's the interesting about the thing about them. They're not sitting out there in the future statically waiting for you to arrive or us to arrive. They're compounding out in the future, hurtling back towards us in the present. And this is creating a hockey stick of expectation on business. And by that I mean it's not sequential. We didn't have COVID and then Ukraine and then climate and they had a clear beginning and ending. And nor is it linear in that the impact on your life just increases consistently. It's exponential. And what we're starting to feel is the G-forces of that as the expectations rise from all stakeholders, from employees to consumers to investors. And what does this mean for you, sitting in your office every day or at home? It means that the luxury of choice as to how far and how fast you change is soon going to be ripped out of your hands. We can no longer sit there, arguably complacent, saying, you know what, I'll, do it. I'll make a change when my competitor makes a change. Or until I'm, it's regulated, I'm just going to do business as usual. It's coming our way like a freight train. And what you need to do is you need to act like a gyroscope. You know those things that sort of remain steady while everything shakes around them? Like a steady cam, where you're shock absorbing as a leader these compounding and concurrent crises. So it's my deep belief that the future of leadership will be defined by your ability to manage multiple crises at once. Let's dive in to what I believe is a critical mindset shift for that to be possible, for all of these different investments that you're making of time, capital, resources, to work together synergistically. And why I call it a mindset shift is because you can imagine, if you've got new goals based on the same mindset, you're going to only have so much success in achieving those new goals. But if you've got a new mindset that better sets you up to accomplish those goals, you're going to get that much further. And the way that I express that mindset shift is to lead with we, which in simple terms means everybody working together to create the greatest benefit to the largest number of people on the planet. And you might say, why is that important? Well, in simple terms, people want to buy from, work for, or invest in companies doing good. Because every single one of us wakes up every morning and pulls out their phone and looks at the horror story that is the news headlines. I mean, who here doesn't, re I scroll through the headlines now, I'm like, I don't want to know anymore. It's enough, man, it's bad enough, I couldn't even sleep last night, no, there's more. You know, it's absolutely absurd what's going on, the, the mental toll and anxiety and fear that it engenders in everybody. But, you know, the biggest antidote and the thing that inspires hope is action. But it needs to be a new type of action, it needs to be collective action, you need to lead with we.